to the greatest storytelling event on the planet, the Mollusk. No. <laughs> the listener needs to know how authentic and real a storytelling event is. That's the point. That's why we record it. Hey, dildo. Quit. You quit talking for two seconds. Yes, you, the dildo. The one that looks and speaks like a dildo. It was irreverent in its comedy, and I would say extreme in terms of some of the perspectives of the characters. I think that that was balanced by the few characters who were sort of the straight men or represented the voice of reason and reacted to the stories being told or the actions of these other characters in a way to sort of check them um, or that we might react. And yet at the same time, that had no effect on their behavior. And they continued to sort of plunge deeper into their extremity to the point where the straight men characters sort of fell away and they were left with perhaps the utter disaster that they deserved. It had this ridiculous cast of characters who were so not grounded with reality in their own specific ways. And they believed that reality so much um, that as the audience, it makes you question like, which is what, what, what is going on? What are these people? Are they, they're all buying it? Okay. Um, but I think that what the film did really well was have a good balance of characters to um, to ground it and to bring that more realistic perspective um, that like they're not in on the joke with them. Um, so I thought that that was really clever. I thought that they did a really great job. Um, I very much enjoyed getting to hear the different uh getting to see the different characters, but also, um, hear their different stories and storytelling, um, style. Uh, so I thought that it was, it was just really watchable. All of the characters were great. Best word I can use to describe Enter the Mollusk is insane. <laughs> that, that 30 minutes was just pure insanity, uh, which it definitely helps that the interviewer it was the straight man of the whole thing because just like you you're just going headfirst into this world of insanity uh and i think one of the strengths of this uh short is just how serious they take it so it gave me very much like an office or um it's always sunny in philadelphia vibes where um these people are just insane <laughs> Uh, but because of how seriously they take it, that's where the comedy stems. Enter the Mollusk was cringy in a really humorous way. Um, I liked the mockumentary approach and the almost like over the top off of characters, but also the sense of realism to certain aspects that were overdone. Um, and I, I thought it was really interesting how it ended and it sort of reflected storytelling in small community groups. Definitely filled with enough interesting and fun characters. Each brought something a little different to it, but all with laughs in tow. And I just enjoyed it. The structure I thought was uh, really a good um, application for it, uh, making it sort of like a documentary and getting to, to speak with uh, all the different storytellers uh, really let us just dive right into what it was about and, you know, just he hear the stories, get the laughs uh, and not get caught up with too much of, you know, what's happening in the background and and um, other stuff like that. There were a, a couple of uh, visual gags, too, which are still great because you want that, uh, you want to keep it dynamic. I think the the kind of concept of taking this idea of, storytellers and kind of what that means and what can kind of encompass and really taking it to to kind of like the next place and taking it 
to like with this reporter and this kind of group and what they do and how they interact with each other and uh, the different kind of tropes and stereotypes you get with storytellers and I thought all of that was really fun. Um, I think they did kind of amp it up and take it to the next level which I thought was really well done because it was really committed. They did it in all aspects which I appreciated. Uh, it's a delightful look at storytelling competitions and uh, you think there's jealousy and infighting in uh, the movie industry, in sports, in politics. Wait till you see what goes on behind the scenes in community storytelling. Anyway, Enter the Mollusk uh, is directed by Vincent Truman. It includes actor uh, Ismael Bilal, Rose Buckner, and several others. I, I will say that I enjoyed this movie. It has the feel of a Second City uh, production, and certainly I think we may see some of the cast members show up there. It was fun watching a storyteller make fun of storytellers. <laughs> um in a fun way and um it was a strong cast but my favorites were the angry girl i don't remember her character's name and jimmy um but the whole cast was really strong um those two just stood out to me um and i <laughs> you could tell they were just having a lot of fun and they were committed and just so so fun to watch all these diverse characters mm -hmm.